I recorded it all in one night, so it had the same vibe. How many songs? Nine songs. You recorded nine songs in one night? Yeah. And you just went through it once, and you're like, that's good, on to the next one. Kind of, yeah, I kind of did it like that. <laughs> what? Yeah, so I, I wrote, I did all nine songs in one night, except for the song. You have an engineer, I Except for that one song with Snoop Dogg. And how did that come about? Because I know that you were on his show previously as well. Yeah, that's what happened. I was just at his show. He was like, oh, Snoop's is in the studio. And I was like, oh, cool, let me go back there and see what, what he's doing. And he's like working on a song. It wasn't like he just listened to beats and stuff. I was like, hey, yo, Snoop, let me. I could rap, let me make a song with you. You know, he was like, <laughs> <laughs> and then he went back to doing his thing. And then I was like, nah, seriously, bro, let's let's do a song together. Yeah, and he was like, so you put him on the spot. Yeah, he was like, you serious? I was like, yeah, I'm serious, let's do a song. So then he said, like, all right, let's find a beat. So he went through a couple of beats, I was like, I like that one. And then, um, so, so you were like directing him. So I took out the pen, the paper, because I write on paper. Uh -huh. So I took out the paper, because I wanted him to know that I wrote my own bars. Okay. And he had his phone, he's doing his thing, and he went and rap first. And then I was like, shit, I need to throw my raps away. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Come on, give me that. Snoop was so smooth. It was like melting butter with a blowtorch. It was just like, shh. And then turning the butter again, uh -huh. just so that you could melt it again. Uh -huh. His voice was all smooth and stuff. And it was like, it was like me and Snoop Dogg. Usually, my rap is like me and my friends or something like that. Right, so, right, right. Um, is he so the smoothest? Is he like the smoothest, easygoing flow that you've heard in hip hop? I think so. There's not too many people yeah. that could just rap with just the, uh, um, just a, I think Wiz is close. Wiz uh -huh. is pretty smooth. Um, but just like a smooth flow, just like his voice is always on point. Like, mm -hmm. I don't think anybody could What do about like Guru smooth. from Gangstar? I don't think he was as smooth as. You don't think so? Like, as his voice, just like, I think it's just the, uh, the, the affliction of Snoop's voice. I mean, okay. Guru. Okay. Okay. So that's di that's different then. It's yeah. different styles, right? Because Guru is like very monotone, yes. and he has the same way of doing it. So maybe it's an incorrect perception, not for you, but for like a lot of people who listen to hip hop and listen to Gangstar in the past that were like, okay, he's good, but he's boring because there's no inflections in yeah, his voice. Yeah. Yeah. Snoop yeah. is like. Snoop is like riding in an old school Cadillac. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like you know, you just go like. Like all the time, every song he's on is like you jump back in that old school Cadillac and you with a hot chick and the top is off uh -huh. and you just rolling and it's always at sunset. So like a lot of people are ego driven and when you're ego driven, you cannot live in the present, right? Right. right. So when you to own the ego can only live on what it has done or what it's thinking it's about to do next. So most people live in those two places. Because right now your ego has not done anything. It cannot do anything right now because it only lives on the past and the present. Mm -hmm. So most people always want to think about what tomorrow is going to be and what how they used to look and oh remember those good good the good old days when you can make new good old days today. Mm -hmm. And it's much easier to live in the past and in the future. So when you live in those places, you're not totally present. Therefore, you're not totally awake. And when you're totally present and you're awake, the colors are brighter, the world smells different, people yeah. look different. It's everything. a great feeling. Yeah. Yeah. And then the more you're able to tap into being present, the longer you could be there, right? So it's uh -huh. like first you experience it like, oh, shit, that was purple Kool Aid. That was delicious. <laughs> I want another glass, right? So then, you know, you have your second glass of purple Kool Aid. It's like, oh, shit, this, I want to just drink Kool Aid all day, right? You can't, because it's just diabetes in a cup. Yeah. But yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's how you refer to a lot of sugar things, don't you? Yeah, because I was thinking I'm gonna die, like it's killing me, right? How much sugar do you actually eat? I don't know. I love Willy Wonka's like my. You love Willy Wonka. You he's talk my, about he's a my lot. Michael Jordan. Really? Yeah. Who's your uh, Who's your Malcolm X? Malcolm X is my Malcolm X. I'm, I'm just curious. <laughs> Look, I'm throwing out random questions. You're giving me random answers. Yeah, Malcolm X is my Malcolm X. Uh -huh. 